The controller on the Little Giant SPBS series battery backup system serves as an all-in-one controller, charger, and alarm. Today, we will show you how to navigate the controller display. Let's get started. The left side of the display shows an approximation of the battery charge. In normal operation, the charge will typically show the 25, 50, and 75% lights lit. When these indicators are lit, the system is indicating the approximate power available to the pump. When the 75% and charged indicators are lit, the battery is experiencing a maintenance charge. This means the charger is maintaining the maximum capacity the battery is capable of producing. The green charging indicator is lit when the battery is charging. The low battery indicator is lit when the backup pump will not function correctly. For reference, a new fully charged 90 amp hours deep cycle battery allows the backup pump to operate for about one day assuming the pump has a cycle of one minute on and four minutes off. The time you will have to power your backup pump depends on the age of the battery, the charge in the battery, and how often the pump must run. The primary pump must be made operational in the time you have left before the low battery indicator comes on. The red power indicator is lit when the 115 volts AC plug is plugged in and power is available. If there is no power available, this light will not come on and the charger will not charge the battery. The pump run indicator is lit when the switch that controls the battery backup pump first activates. This indicator will remain on until the reset button is pushed. The high water indicator is lit when the pump is actively trying to remove water from the sump. The replace fuse indicator is lit when the fuse has failed. Replace the fuse with an automotive type 32 volt 20 amp type ATC fuse on the bottom of the charger. The reset switch will reset the system. If pushed, the system will check to verify everything is normal. If everything is indeed normal, the system resets. If there are any problems, such as an activated switch, the indicator light will again be lit, an audible alarm will sound, and the battery status will be verified. The silence button turns off the audible alarm. The test button allows you to manually verify that the backup pump operates without having to activate the switch. Press and hold this button. You should hear the pump operating. For more information, reference the owner's manual. Thanks for watching.